Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. All right, so today we're going to review the Craft Beer Deck from the United States Playing Card Company, Bicycle. Uh, if you don't know what craft beer is, craft beer is small, okay? So you gotta think small breweries. So independent, traditional, uh, they have an annual beer production less than two million barrels, okay? So that's what would be considered a craft beer. So the argument would be made that craft beer would be unique, you know, that you have a small production team, you have a small uh, line of product, and your brewmasters are gonna be really hands-on. They're gonna be very particular, very uh, involved in the process in making this. And so what USPCC wanted to do was just partner with 53 different breweries and profile them on each card face and uh, kind of just, you know, just shared their love for card making, but also to celebrate beer. And so these are breweries from all around the United States. Uh, these are all genuine American entrepreneurs. Their passion is dedicated to the innovative, full flavored beers they make. And so this deck is of course dedicated to all those people like me <laughs> that love their local breweries and the people behind them, okay? And so again, drink responsibly kids, 21 and over, obey your laws in your state. <laughs> So the front of the tech case, this is embossed, this is all embossing. It says bicycle and it's celebrating 53 different breweries. It does say craft beer, playing cards right there. This side says air cushion finish made in the USA. And this side says air cushion finish made in the USA. <laughs> the bottom has some ad copy about USBCC. The top has the standard uh, tuck seal logo. And then the back has a little bit of uh, just copy about the theme and why they made the deck and the inspiration behind it. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come off the shelf and so they are a bicycle retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion finish. And if you would like to learn more about stock, cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. Okay, so since this is a bicycle deck and it's an off the shelf deck, of course it's gonna handle and feel a lot like a standard uh, rider back deck, uh, standard 808 deck. It does have really nice smooth edges, nice smooth corners. Um, the registry, you know, it's gonna be what it is. I mean, it's not a Q1 quality, but it's a, a really good deck. Nice buttery soft deck. The stock is very thin, very flexible, very snappy. It's a good deck. The back design is a two-way image. It's a thick brown poker size border. Uh, and so, uh, the, but the faces are white. So hiding reverse cards, doing magic, that would be an issue. Uh, the corners have a little circle that says bicycle and that should be a hop there in the corner. And then you have a bottle of beer uh, going top and bottom with the four uh, icons there of the suits there in the center. And then you have some, you know, hops or barley there on the sides making a little ring and just some ornamentation uh, making a frame. With this deck, you're gonna get two uh, original and uniquely different jokers uh, and they are breweries. So again, the breweries can continue on to the jokers as well. They didn't make uh, craft beer jokers specifically. These are actual uh, logos from local breweries. With this deck, you're also gonna get one double backed gaffer, which is good for magic tricks. And with this deck, you're also gonna get an ad card. Uh, it's pretty much the same write-up that is on the back of the tuck case. So it gives you a little bit of the inspiration behind the deck. Your Ace of Spades is a vintage design. It says Erlinger, Kentucky down there at the bottom. And again, you have the bottle of beer there in the center. It's really pretty. I like the dark uh, tobacco brown colors that this deck utilizes. Uh, and I think it makes for a very attractive Ace of Spades. So the rest of the deck is only denoted by corner indices here in the corners, obviously. And uh, the black cards are black and the red cards are kind of like a umber brown. Uh, and then you can see from the face, it's a one-way design. And so it only reads one direction. And they're all craft beer logos, okay? You're not gonna find any kings or queens or jacks. You're not gonna find any center arrangements of five hearts. It's all gonna be craft beer logos. And so I would say that this deck is probably gonna be more attractive to the collector, uh, either of cards and or beer. <laughs> beer fans, great deck of cards to have in a, a bar. You know, if somebody says, hey, do you have a deck of cards? This would be a great deck for that. Or, you know, if you were a brewery and, you know, people played card games in your lobby, which I've seen. And, and so it, it, it kind of falls into that line. Or, you know, you just want a fun deck of cards. I don't know if this would work great for Magic, 
You know, I think people would be too focused on the image in the center. Uh, so I don't, I wouldn't recommend it for magic. It'd be fun for cardistry because it has, you know, a, a, a unique flashing image that would, you know, pass by the spectator's eyes whenever you were doing a sibyl cut or whatever. All right, so that is the craft beer deck from the United States Playing Card Company. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy, and you can always find more content at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.